This lesson is about Gaussian filter. We have an image named bluesky.jpg. The first task is to read the image. The imread function is used to do that. The argument of this function is the location of the image. It is in our working directory. So, simply write the name of the image with the extension. Now, this function will read this image. Let's store it in a variable named i. The purpose of this lesson is to remove the noises from an image using Gaussian filter. Let's add the noise first. We use imNoise function to do that. It will add noise on this image. The type of the noise is salt and pepper. And the density of the noise is 0 0.05. Now, this function will return a noisy image. Let's store it in a variable named n. This is an RGB image. That means it has three channels, red, green and blue. We have to separate the noises from each channel individually. Let's split the image into its channels. This is red channel, this is green channel, and this is blue channel. Now it is time to define the filter. In MATLAB, we use f special function to define the filter. In the first argument, we define the name of the filter. It is Gaussian here. Then the size of the filter. It is a 10 by 10 pixels filter. And the last argument is the standard deviation. The value is 4. The filter has been defined. Let's store it in a variable named the underscore filter. Now, using imFilter function, we can apply the filter on individual channels. Let's start with the red channel. Then apply the filter and store the filter channel in this red channel variable. Do the same thing for green and blue channel. Then use the cat function to concatenate these three channels. This cat function is returning a three-dimensional array. That is why we have to specify the tree here. Let's store the combination of these three channels in a variable named f. Then use the subplots to show the result. Run the code and see what happens. Here is the noisy image. And here is the image after applying the Gaussian filter. That's all for this lesson. I'll see you all in the next lesson.